In this video, we are reviewing these Toby's Hoka Speedo 4s. Okay, people, welcome back to the channel. This is the we have a part of our little mini stop so, so, so here. We'll have a chat about your shoes. Right, so we're just in the middle of Broxbourne Woods, glorious Broxbourne Woods. It's a little bit rainy in the air, but it's it's warm, isn't it? Refreshing. It's refreshing. But we're here to talk about these, the Speed Goat 4s. Now, Toby's trail history is a bit uh, Non-existent. Non-existent, non-existent. So his trail shoes before this were... Nike, GTX something. So, would you say these are your first pair of proper trail shoes? Yeah. Okay, right, so, he was looking for trail shoes to go up Snowden, and I said to him, on your recommendations, try the Speed Go 4. Now, the Speed Go 4 is not a new model by any standards, it's not the latest model. I'm sure they're about to be replaced, but who cares. Um, how much do you pay for them? Quid, Should have known this Toby really before we did the video. 130 quid. There are, just to give you a bit of stats and features before we get into more important how it feels. Versus the three, if you've not seen any other videos that anybody else has done, they changed the upper, right? They also changed the midsole, uh, and they also changed shoulder lugs toe, uh, which you can't really see because they're dirty, but they made the lugs more aggressive. But the biggest change, I think, is, is the upper and the midsole. The Speedco is a bit like the Trabuco Max that I'm wearing, is a sort of high, highly cushioned or max cushioned trail shoe. It's got no plate in it. It's there for, you know, you've got the foam to add the sort of shock absorber as you're going over the rocks with a decent like um, tread. I wouldn't say it's lightweight. Um, yours are what, size 11? 12. 12, so they're gonna be about 12 ounces, just over 12 ounces um, for your um, UK 12. In terms of fit, now these, are, uh, people have complained about these shoes about coming up narrow. Did you go the double E size? The, no, the, I just went standard. You went standard, so you find, they're all right? Yeah, I've never felt comfortable. Because Al was looking at getting these and he's looking at the double E because uh, allegedly they made them wider than the three, but they didn't. Uh, they're just the same, apparently. I, I don't know because I, I've not spent that much time on them. I got them and they were too narrow, so I sent them back. Um, but yeah, I think that's it in terms of, uh, I think it's got a four mil drop, something like that. Uh, and that's probably about it in terms of stats and features and things like that. Let's carry on. And then let's find out how you've you know, been getting on with them, that kind of thing. Yeah? Let's do it. Let's do it, come on. So I think the biggest thing to hope to find out really is, and what I've say for trail shoes is how comfortable are they? Because I think that's the key, because you're, you're in probably some of the most uncomfortable conditions. How are comfortable are they? Comfy. Yeah? Yeah, you don't really, they seem to slide over any rocks and sticks and whatever. What about in terms of traction? Traction not slipped yet, and there's been a few muddy bits. Yeah, we have had a lot of mud here actually today. They look very right, have they? Yeah. Not even a glimpse of slipping. What about the upper? Because the upper's new, right? And I think it does look kind of warm. Is it? Is it all right? Uh, I mean, I'm it's not, a warm day. Yeah, I'm not over warm, and I haven't got, I haven't got the thin socks on. No, we've got twin skin socks on today because so, uh, we're practicing for the mountain. Um, well, I'm not overheating them. Not no, overheating, no. no. no and what about blisters and stuff like that? Any props here? Nothing yet. Nothing yet. So, what you're saying is, Tob, to the viewers, is that you're loving the Speed Goat 4s, basically. I, I am liking them more than I thought of. Really? Yeah. Did I add a question for you? Oh, uh, we've got to go down here, by the way. Did I feel quick? I think you could put Because they've got speed in the, in the name. I think you could put a bit of speed in them. I mean, we was running up the roads. That's a good point. Um, how were they on the roads? They just seem to be like a nice soft. Daily trail, you know, on the road. Do you really? Know what I mean? Yeah, they didn't. You don't feel, feel like a trail shoe? No. Oh, I think that's interesting. I don't really feel the weight. Yeah, because these on uh, uh, my Asics, as I'm going along the roads, you can feel they're a trail shoe. They're not as cumbersome as some of the others out there, but you can feel they're a trail shoe. But you, they, they feel alright on the road as well. Yeah, they were doing absolutely fine. So. so, are you happy with your purchase? 
I'm currently happy. He's currently happy. I suppose the best test will come when we get down from that mountain, <laughs> wouldn't it? If they're in one piece. If they're in one piece. There are some there. people have said about durability concerns with the Speedgoat 4, but let us know in the comments, because they've been out for a long time. Let us know in the comments, have you found the durability of the shoe? That would be really interesting to know from people who probably put a what's it load of miles in them. But yeah, I think that's quite conclusive, people. If you're on everyday running looking for a, your first trail shoe and hocus fit you, grab a pair of Speedgoat 4s. Hey, Tom. Agreed. Right, say bye, Tom. See you later. <laughs>